everybody, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I bring to you the first fall makeup tutorial for 2015 with one of my best friends, Aviva Clam K, here on YouTube. I love her to check her out on Instagram. So today I did a fall glam makeup tutorial. I love it. And I think what's new about this fall is that we want to keep strobing and highlighting and fresh wet skin in with a pop of a dramatic eye and a dramatic lip. I don't want to do too much to the face. It is still full coverage. It's still a very highlighted pose, pose, pose. Oh, let's not, let's not lift the wig. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. It's just very, very highlighted and pretty and it's very sexy and vampy but not overly dramatic for you guys out there, guys and girls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out Kaylani on Instagram. If you guys want to see more looks, maybe a fall makeup tutorial on me, let me know, and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This elbow is so ashy. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! That henna though. Oh, look at my henna. Show your henna. <clears throat> hey guys, I have my friend Viva Glam K here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is what she already did. She's gonna moisturize her face with the Chorus Greek Yogurt Moisture. And next, I'm gonna spritz her face with Fix Plus. You want to be looking dry in the fall, so yes. And you want to let that soak in the face, yes, yes. Let's be extra, I mean I have it, why not? I'm going to use the Smashbox Primer Water, this $30 water. Because <laughs> most of the time we tend to get dry on the skin in the fall and the winter time. Do you get dry? Yeah. Next, I'm gonna take my Morphe M427 and this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color 128 and apply this all over her face. And don't forget to like shake the bottle. Like a shake weight. I <laughs> got shake weight, okay. Because you have to. <laughs> it's a good reference. Really little baby has about to fall off your lashes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what are these lines from? <laughs> Oral. <laughs> Just to be extra, um, this is a very lightweight stick. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. It adds a little bit of that dewy effect. So I'm gonna just, she has some freckles here that we're just gonna try to cover just a little bit. You don't have to, this is optional, but I've never tried this stick and wanted to try it. I saw it at the Makeup Forever workshop that I went to in LA when they re released this. And it looks really, really good. So I'm just gonna apply this on the cheeks. And I just want to stipple this onto the surface area so you don't remove or um, jeopardize the coverage. She looks nice and glowy and covered. So I want to keep it still strobed, highlighted, whatever the term is nowadays. But I still want to keep that, that nice highlighted effect for winter. I think it's really, really cute. So next for under the eyes, I'm gonna take this Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is the best, especially for the fall and winter coming up. You guys should definitely get it. I'm gonna use this under the eyes, and this is in the color Medium Neutral. I don't wanna go too light under the eyes because I want the skin to be highlighted. So I don't want it to go extreme clown white. I just want it to match your skin just perfectly. I lied, I think I wanna go just a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna take the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer just to add a little bit of brightness. That's what it should look like so far. You look like you're about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so next I'm gonna set the under eye with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder right away. And this is what it should look like with the base. And now we're gonna move on to the eyes. So next we're gonna use the Morphe 35O palette open. We're gonna use 35O palette and these are beautiful warm tones. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M504. This is a holy grail brush. I'm gonna take this color right here on the very end, third one down, and just use this as a transition color for her eye. This is a great palette for makeup artists too. This is like so pretty and there's so much pigment. And you can tell if it's good pigment if it's not just a swatch from your finger onto your hand because it, your hands tend to have oil. You can tell it's a good palette when the brush picks up product and it goes onto the skin. This is like the best corner right here. It's like all warm colors. So I'm gonna take these two right mm, now I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna just take all of them because they're so cute. Cool. You know me and my colors. 
They're so cute. And you get all of this for 28 bucks with a little discount with P-Star. Enter the code, but check it out. I'm gonna use this E25 brush by Sigma. It's an amazing brush. So I'm gonna take those colors and I'm going to use this right in the socket of the eye. And you wanna stick this in the butt crack of her eye. And you don't wanna get too much on the lid because you wanna keep that space for a cute highlighted color. Don't be afraid to like lift your client's eyebrow if you guys are watching this for a makeup artist. Don't be scared to, not pull, but don't be scared to take control. Next I'm gonna take my most favorite color. It is the color in the dead center. It's like a matte, warm brick color. It is the best color in the palette, I feel, for any skin tone, whether it be for transition or contouring the eye. And I'm gonna use this deep shade to contour the eye. <laughs> and your clients just stare at you. And your clients be like. <laughs> Next I'm gonna take these Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows with a flat brush, Grandstand and Magic Axe, and put this one on the middle and then this one on the inner third of the eye using the same brush. Hey guys, so we decided on doing a wing, so I'm gonna take my Inglot liner, but this is a little bit dried out. This is a great product to revive your liner. It's also by Inglot, it's called the Duraline. And I'm just gonna put a few drops or just one little drop into it to make it creamy and do a fierce wink. <laughs> Ooh, I was holding that in. It's about that time of year, y'all. <laughs> Don't breathe, right? I hope my breath too. Who else holds their breath when they do eyeliner? <laughs> yes. So next I'm gonna take this new Bounce and Lashes in the style Serengeti. They're beautiful and wispy. The package is a little bit deceiving because it's a pattern, but they look really, really nice. I said don't move and you wanna eat this rice crispy? Uh -huh. <laughs> Blow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Who else's glue look like it had diarrhea? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I think this was the makeup you told me when you got pregnant. You remember what I had on my face? You had a chain on your head. I do not even remember all of that. Wow, you have a good memory. <laughs> oh my god, one time we were in New York in the subway. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say this story. We were in the subway and I was going like this, right? And Kaylani was pregnant, or she just had the baby. You had yeah, just the baby. I just had her, she just yeah. had the baby. And then um, I was standing, we we're waiting for the subway. She's like, oh, I miss. She's like, I miss holding my belly like that too. And I was like, what you mean belly? <laughs> Like, I didn't even think about it. Pregnancy brain. Her baby has the same birthday as me. She decided to pop that baby out of her vagina on my birthday. How rude. Someone stole you. But I love her though. <laughs> and that's why she looks like you. She did you the favor. Next, I'm going to contour her face using this liquid, this NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation for that extra glow contour and bronze. Using the same M427 foundation brush that we used earlier. Next, I'm going to take the Ultra HD Foundation Stick to Further Contour, and this is in the color 180. There is no clown contouring on my channel. Not yet. <laughs> you guys don't have to use exactly all these products. Use what you have at home. Just make sure. I just have these products that I don't want to play with. And to show you how you can use them in different ways. This is very Nicki Minaj. You can stop here if you want to say, What's good, my V? What's good? But <laughs> we're going to keep it classy today. <laughs> I still love you, Nicki. <laughs> Just in case she gets you to do her makeup, you want to be on good terms with her. <laughs> now that she's bronzed and lightly contoured, I'm going to take my favorite highlighters, a mixture of Gold Deposit, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, and a little hint of Gilded Honey by Laura Geller, my top highlighters for the moment, and douse this all over her face on the high points of her cheeks. And the brush that I'm going to use is this amazing highlighting tapered brush, the Morphe M509. Next, my Jaclyn Hill broke, but it's okay. Next, I'm going to use the Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC and Anastasia Heathers for that deep fall matte lip. Oh my god! You'd be tripping, literally. Next, I'm gonna take this chromographic pencil and put this in the waterline by MAC. Any nude liner will do. Look at it. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna take this bottom color in the very middle and I'm gonna smoke out the bottom of her eyes just a little bit, right under the lash line. And I just applied a little bit of mascara, the extra dimension, and I'm gonna take this top corner right here with a pencil brush and apply this on the inner corner. So, next, I'm gonna take this Brow Wiz by Anastasia in the color Caramel 
and I'm caramel caramel tomato tomato and I'm just gonna do some light strokes and keep it a soft brow because her eyes are very strong and so is her lips so we want to keep this defined but thought. What I gave her my eyebrow, she's my daughter. <laughs> it's my daughter. I'm your daughter. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit of this Lovejoy blush by MAC, just around the face. Excuse me, we're trying to record here. And this is the finished look for your fall makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna get a wig and I will be right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how do you look? You look Filipino. I know. You look like Patrick Starr. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one.